Just wanted to show you something cool that we built uh, today. And this is why I love Flutterflow and just being able to quickly act on some feedback. We had a, a uh, meeting yesterday to figure out how can we better show our tickets to clients. Uh, and so what I did is we had these um, Notion tickets that were coming in through forms and we we're tracking status and they get tracked in our system with all of our statuses, but there's no way to share a Notion database um, selectively with just certain parts of the database. Uh, so um, what we wanted to do is basically just create a dashboard inside of Flutterflow, inside the admin panel that just reads what's going on in Notion. So uh, I do have an example here. This is what we ended up with. Um, and again, I think this took like three hours and 20 minutes to go from, hey, I think this could work to, hey, it's working now. Um, and we've got the five tickets here. We're filtering it based on clients and we're doing a little API call. So when we click back in um, here, let's say we click into tickets, it's gonna load here and we get all of those listed out. They get sorted uh, here, which is awesome. And then um, we can even see like when they were submitted and then when they were last edited in Notion and it is live. So if we change something in Notion, it immediately updates for our clients here and to see all their open tickets. Um, so I'll get, show you a little bit of how I set that up. We created a Notion API group and um, really just everything happens in this uh, one right here uh, where we have um, a body that just goes out and we go to this route, api.notion, this v1 database. We created an integration with Notion and got our uh, secret key and token. Um, and we create this where we say filter, hey, go get all the clients with this client ID, which we has a, have as a remote config variable. And uh, and then we exclude this discard one, uh, so those that get hidden, and then we sort it um, with status um, ascending, and that works great. We have all these um, properties that come in here. We've got JSON paths with all the different pieces here. And then we just built it into this uh, very simple page. So very, very cool. We were able to kind of ship it brand new feature in less than 24 hours, uh, which is super cool. So. This is why we love using Flutterflow.